Here's my way too early 2024 predictions. We've done the ladder, let's do everything else. I think the 2024 season, you know, we're in for one of the best seasons in recent memory. I know at the start of 2023, I said that 2023 was going to be exciting, whatever way it sort of went. And I, I feel like it was. I feel like everything or every one of those games went down to the wire. Lots of really good storylines coming out of 2023, whether that's, you know, Damien Hardwick going to the Gold Coast. Um, you know, us obviously winning uh, the Premiership. Carlton being whatever they were, 15th, and then going on that huge run to make a preliminary final. Uh, GWS, Melbourne not winning it. The list goes on and on and on about how many storylines came out and how good of a 2023 season it was. I feel like 2024 is going to just go even further. It's it's can Collingwood go back to back? Can Carlton, you know, uh, see do what they did uh, last season, can they replicate it? Uh, can the Giants go one step further, make a grand final? A uh, Melbourne going to win uh, a home final? Gold Coast, uh, Hawthorne, put so many uh, storylines. But here are my uh, 2024 way too early predictions. So what I'm going to do is Premiers, Runners Up, Brownlow Medal, Coleman, Biggest Riser, Biggest Slider, and the Biggest Storyline. Let's get into it. Premiers. <laughs> um unbiasedly, maybe a little bit of bias, I think the Pies are going back to back. I think this is the start of a, maybe not a dynasty, a dynasty, whatever you want to call it, but I think we are in the right way, the right shape uh, to go back to back. Craig McRae, Justin Lepich won three premierships at uh, Mel uh, Melbourne, at three premierships at Brisbane. I dare say, oh, and, and you know, at, at Richmond as well, they, they won those two in a row, and obviously that third one. I dare say they're not going to be complacent with just winning one. If, if you know, Craig McRae and Lepper didn't walk in at the start of preseason, hold up their three medals and say, this is what we're going to achieve, wasted opportunity, right? So happy that we got our 16th premiership. So happy that, um, you know, it was an amazing, amazing win. But... It counts for nothing if we can't go back to back or if we can't get that high up and compete again. I dare say we do make a grand final. Uh, Lockie Schultz coming into the side is going to just add so much dynamics to that forward line and we're only going to get better. You, you hear it. You know, people say, oh, we're going to be the hunted now. Why can't we be the hunter again? Uh, it's going to be really exciting and I do think we're going back to back. Runners up. I think it's going to be Brisbane again. I think it's going to be another Collingwood Brisbane grand final, reminiscent of 2002, 2023, uh, when we lost those back to back grand finals to Brisbane. I think the roles are reversed and Brisbane are going to lose back to back grand finals against us. I think Brisbane have only added to their side, uh, they're only going to get better. That, and that grand final loss stings. And, and I know as a Collingwood supporter that it can either go two ways. You can either compete again or it just can capitulate. Uh, you know, 2010, 2011. Uh, we make those grand finals. We obviously win one, lose one. 2018, we make the grand final. And then 2019, we just lose that prelim um, to the Giants. Will that happen to Brisbane? I, they, they're going to be... I, I had them in my predictions as, as one one or two. Um, and I dare say they're going to be up there again. And I can't see them making anything less than a grand final. If they don't make a grand final... Uh, that would have just lost the prelim by a couple of points. But I think it's going to be a Collingwood-Brisbane grand final again. We're going to go back to back. Brownlow medal. Now, it's easy for me to say Nick Dacos is going to win the Brownlow medal. A full season, he missed, what, five or so games. Didn't poll in ones that he should have polled in. Uh, Errol Golden uh, is another good chance for it. But I reckon it's going to be a tie between Nick Dacos and Bontempelli. Bontempelli deserves a Brownlow medal. Christian Petrarca might be up there as well. Could we see someone like a, a Tuke Miller uh, under Damian Hardwick and with a full season under his belt, hopefully, you know, uh, compete for that Brownlow title? We, we saw him nearly take it when, um, but, you know, Cripps uh, ended up winning a couple of years ago. But, you know, I've said that Nick Dacos is, is due for a Brownlow medal already. Could this be the year or do people put more tags into him? Uh, and he doesn't accumulate. But I, I, from what I'm hearing and reading about preseason, he's just going to go to another level next season. So I, I'm saying for my Brownlee medal, Nick Dacos, Bonton Pally tie. Coleman medal. Charlie Curnow's won it two years in a row. Actually, Carlton have won it three years in a row. Harry Mackay, Charlie Curnow, Charlie Curnow again.
Charlie Kiona's going to be definitely be up there, um, high up. What did he score? Seventy plus goals, or no, maybe it was eighty something goals uh, this season. That might be including finals. Uh, and I dare say he's going to be up there again. But my prediction is Nick Larky from the Kangaroos. He kicked seventy one goals in a side that wasn't any good. He was kicking bags and bags and bags of goals. Now with another sort of preseason under his belt and the Kangaroos' belt. Um, I think he's going to go to that sort of next level, be one of the premier forwards in the competition, and I think he's going to win the 2024 Coleman medal. Biggest riser. Uh, I had them just outside the eight in my uh, 2024 early ladder predictions. I think the Suns are going to rise a lot, and you know it might not rise to a top eight spot, which would be nice to get see them in the top eight, but with Damien Hardwick under their... Um, Oh, sorry, with them under Damien Hardwick, Hardwick's tutelage now, I think they're going to go to the next level. And rising, you know, to me, it's not like biggest rises in from 15th to, to a premiership or something like that. I think they're going to maybe jump three or four ladder spots than, than they were. It'll be, I think it'll be their highest finish um, in any season uh, next season. If that means they sneak into the top eight, that would be nice. I'd love to see um, the Suns sort of play finals you know, just give them one in their sort of history. It would be huge for not only the AFL, but football in Queensland. But I dare say they're going to be on my biggest risers. Maybe even Hawthorne, again, not for a top eight spot, but from where they were to, to where they will be, it, it's going to be the Suns or the Hawks. My biggest slider. No surprise here if you watch my video. I've got Port Adelaide outside of the top four. I think I had them at seventh. They could even slip out of the top eight. Um, I don't know what it is about Port, Port Adelaide. Like they, yeah, they they were really good. Obviously, they were competing with us in that for that top two spot. Then started losing a bunch of games and then really didn't do much uh, in the finals. So I've got them uh, seventh. They're my biggest slider. Could they jump out? You know, a lot of people are saying St Kilda are going to slide. I think St Kilda will still be thereabouts. So I, I do think Port Adelaide are going to slide out, and you know that could leave the door open for an Adelaide for a. Um, uh, Bulldogs as well to kind of sneak into that top eight. Now, the biggest storyline. There could be a lot of storylines, and I'm not talking like Pies go back to back or Carlton win a premiership or anything like that. You know, I think a, a, there's going to be a big storyline to do with concussion down down the line. You know, I think the tribunal always has big storylines, the tribunal. But football-wise, with teams and wins and stuff like that, my biggest storyline is that even though they finished top four, Melbourne still can't win a home final. And that is going to be talked about for ages. What was their last home final win? Was it 2018 or something like that? They still can't win a home final. Whether that means that they're in the top four and they can't win in two weeks, or whether that means they um, get eliminated the first week, I've still got them not winning a home final. But anyway, this has been my super early 2024 predictions. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll paste the... Um, uh, the Premier Runner-Up, all that into the info app, uh, into the info, copy it, paste it into a comment, let me know, uh, and we can revisit this in a year's time. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your friends, and until next time, double shakers, I'll see you later.